I'm Felicia Eady with South Carolina Public Radio. As you may know, March is Women's History Month, and if you tune in to South Carolina ETV later this week, you will learn about a map that celebrates trailblazing women from right here in Columbia. And joining me in studio to talk about this wonderful map is our Director of Themes, Amy Crouch. Thank you for your time, Amy. Thanks, Felicia, for having me on. <laughs> Absolutely. So we're taking a little bit, we're stealing some time from coronavirus coverage. The irony is, is that this story still does link back <laughs> because um, this map is not a physical map, it's a virtual map. So for all the kids that may be home, this uh, map is a good educational tool for them. You produce this segment that will air on ETV later this week. What will we see and learn? Well, I think it's amazing that the Columbia City of Women, this group, they've done this map so we can celebrate women of the past and present and what all they have done for not only the city, but for the country. Um, I've had an interview with former First Lady Rachel Hodges, who started the group, and I was really moved. She said the reason this all came about was that her son had given her a New York City subway map, and she was looking at it, and she saw all these lines were named after these amazing women. Mm -hmm. So it made her start walking through the city of Columbia to see what she could find for the women of our city, and she said, all she could find was Lady Street. I was just going to say, what did she find? <laughs> Lady Street was the only thing she found. And it, Lady Street is named after Mar Martha Washington, mm -hmm. but she said it was just like, they couldn't have named it Martha Washington Street. Mm -hmm. So it was really just, oh, we'll just throw Lady Street up there. So that really is where this all started. Okay, so this is the first year. This is actually the second year that this group is releasing a map. Last year there were 12 women. Correct. This year, how many will Eight this year that they um, announced. So. so if people go online and take a look at this virtual map, 20 women uh, who, who did wonderful things here in Columbia, in your segment that will air this week, you guys kind of take a look at two of them. Who are they and what did they do? Um, you know, one of them that we looked at is Sarah Mae Fleming. And you can go to Maine and Washington and Columbia, and there is a marker there for her. Okay. Um, but you can also go online and see it virtually. But Sarah Mae Fleming, what most people don't know, she really paved the way for Rosa Parks. So you can see the story about how she got on the bus. They said there were no seats, and she didn't listen. She sat anyway. So she's, it's an amazing story. We got to talk to her granddaughter, and we went down exactly to where this bus stop was and got to see this marker. Also on Marion Street, we got to learn about Majeska Simpkins. Um, Majeska was, her, it's her house on Marion Street, mm -hmm. and it was a place where people like Thurgood Marshall came to talk about civil rights. And what we learned about Majeska was she was a wonderful civil rights activist, but really she was a human activist. She cared about all areas. Okay, okay. So Palmetto Scene airs on ETV when, at what time, what day? Thursday at 8 o'clock, um, this coming Thursday, and then we'll also have the segment online for anyone to watch also. All right. Amy, thank you very much. I can't wait to watch this segment. Thanks to ha for having me, and I can't wait to see what other women are going to be on this map in the years to come. I'm glad you said that because I, I, I forgot. Um, this map is for the city of Columbia. But are there plans for this organization to work with other municipalities to create maps in different parts of the state? Yeah, I know that um, I've talked to Columbia City of Women, and they're really looking at, they're working with a group in Greenville that is hoping to do the same thing. So I really feel like this might take off throughout the state. Oh, it would be great if people and, and kids can kind of link the maps all across the, the South Carolina and to just see how women have shaped the, the state and the country. And I think it's great for the uh, the young girls growing up mm. to see what these women can have done and what they can do. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Alicia.